So as a superintendent, the release of the park results were a time of nervousness for me. I had watched the hard work of our central office staff and our teachers and our administrators as they revamped our entire curriculum from pre-K to 12. I had been to a lot of the professional development sessions. I had been in and out of classrooms. I thought things were going pretty well, but I knew that when those scores came out, it was the new baseline. I had challenged our administrators to get 70% of our students reaching the standards. Were we going to be out anywhere close to that? I was confident and yet uncertain at the same time. I have to confess it was one of the strangest times ever in my career. And I think part of it was because this school system has such a history of performing well and I didn't want to feel like I had done anything that had let this school system down and that we weren't going to stay on track with that. So when I got the first glimpse of the embargo data, I breathed a sigh of relief. The team had come through. I am so incredibly proud of our teachers and our students for what they've done. But for me, it was when we got the full release and we could benchmark against our peers that I felt the most pride. Because so often we hear how, you know, well, people in business do this or that. Benchmarking is a critical thing that I think all leaders do, whether it be in business, coaches of football teams. You're looking at how others perform and wanting to make sure that your team is performing as well as or better. And so when I looked and I saw how we ranked consistently in the top eight, at one point even ranking number two in the state in the performance of our students, I was absolutely thrilled and so incredibly grateful. I know that this transition has been a challenge for everyone, but I have seen people who never lost sight of working with their students, bringing out their best, and pushing them to excel. And it's been that spirit that has given us the results that we have and we have so much to be proud of. Are we there yet? Of course not. Are we looking at this data more closely now and getting ready to ask ourselves some hard questions about the performances of our student groups? Or perhaps even the number of students in certain groups who are participating in some of the higher level classes? There are still lots of things we need to do to move forward. But when I look at where we are and how we compare to the rest of the state, and I know what we've been through with tight budgets, I'm back to the statement I made to the business community when I first came here in 2011. And that is, with Frederick County Public Schools, because of the dedication of our teachers, our administrators, and our central office staff, you get an incredible return on your investment. We did it again, and I couldn't be happier.